How and why you respond so quickly when you see a tiger? What happens inside your body during that time? How can we feel the heat and cold in water? How can we make our body work exactly as our brain wishes? How can we smell different things? All these questions and many more will be answered in today's video. Please stay tuned till end. Welcome to EduTales. Today we are going to introduce basic terminologies such as stimuli, response, sensory organs, receptors, effectors, etc. So let's begin. Well, all the living organisms respond and react to changes in the environment. As for example, on seeing a tiger, we will run away as fast as we can. We will remove our hand when we touch any hot object. We cannot open our eyes in the face of light. These changes to which the organisms respond and react are called stimuli. The stimuli can be of different types such as light, heat, cold, sound, smell, touch, water, gravity, etc. So now, how organism will respond or react to stimuli? It is in the form of some movement of the body part. Now let us understand our examples again. Here, fear of tiger is the stimulus and we react by running. Here, heat is the stimulus and we react by removing our hand away, that is a response. Here, light is a stimulus and closing of our eyes is a response. From this, we can conclude that the reaction to stimuli is a characteristic property of all living organisms, just like eating, breathing, drinking, excreting, reproducing, etc. are. From the examples, we can say that both plants and animals will have different types of response to different types of stimuli. This reaction involves many organs of our body. So, it becomes unnecessary that all the concerned organs work systematically and in controlled manner. This working of various organs systematically is known as coordination. Now, let us first see three terminologies sense organs, receptors and effectors. The main sense organs are can guess. They are for sight, hearing, touch, smell and taste. What is their importance? Through them we get information from the environment regarding stimulus. How is this possible? Through the presence of receptor on the sense organs. Now, what is a receptor? A receptor is a cell or group of cells in a sense organ which is sensitive to a particular type of stimulus. So when sense organs get sensitive they will respond to stimulus accordingly. Did you know that different sense organs have different receptors? Let's see them. Photo that is light receptors detect light and they are present in eyes. Gustatory receptors detect taste and they are present in tongue. Phonoreceptors detect sound and they are present in inner ear. Olfactory receptors detect smell and they are present in nose. Thermoreceptors detect heat or cold 
and they are present in skin. So what they will do? They will receive stimuli from the surrounding environment in the sense organ and then they will send the message conveyed by them to either spinal cord or brain. Last but not least, what are effectors? It can respond to a stimulus according to the instructions sent from nervous system. Examples of effectors are muscles and glands. That's all for today. Please make sure to like, share and subscribe our channel. Suggestions and comments are always welcome. Thank you.